In today's video, we're going to figure out how to do something like this with the Curves Workbench. I'm going to show you what you do to create something that is a complex surface like this and create that with FreeCAD. As always, I'm going to start with uh, being in the part design. I'm going to create a new file, a new part, new body. And I'm going to show you quickly about FreeCAD, the version I'm using, 0.21.1. This is the revision number. It's the latest download that's released. I'm not using the um, development version for this, but we will be using it in the future. So to create this shape, what we're going to do in the part design, we're going to create a sketch. And we're going to create that on the XY plane. <clears throat> and we're going to create our first part of that sketch is going to be the curves that go along the side. So we're going to do that with a couple of arcs. And we're just going to use this open-ended arc. I'm going to pop it in like this. Then I'm going to do a second arc. I'm going to pop it over like this. Uh, and then I'm just going to mirror this arc so we have it on the same on both sides. It doesn't actually have to be the same on both sides, but we're going to do that because it just makes life easy. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to mirror that part. And that's really all there is to it. If I show you what I have, this is my sketch. These are the shapes at the front that I want, and... We'll move on and create the next part of the sketch. So what I need now is if we look at that sketch in its normal XY plane, I want to do a sketch that's actually on this front face like that. So I'm going to do a sketch that fits across there. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch and we're going to do it in a different plane. So that one is on the XY plane. This one's going to be on the XZ plane. And then I'm going to just bring these points in so that I can use them in my construction. So I'm going to use this, uh, which allows me to create external geometry from another sketch. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to just take that vertex, and then I'm going to zoom in on this one. I'm just going to take that vertex. So that's all we need for this sketch. So I'm going, to, I'm going to use this button that allows me to go back to the front face of the sketch. So view sketch, QP straight in. There it is. And then I'm going to create um, a radius and I'm going to create it using the centered radius. So with this one, we're going to pick um, the center and then we're going to pick its endpoints like this. And that's all we're going to do for that sketch. So I'm going to close that. And now you can see my sketch has lines that go this way, lines that go this way. I want one more sketch. I'm going to put it on the front here. I'm going to do that. We're going to use a, um, a date and plane. So what we're going to do is just turn on our origin over here so we can see what we're doing from a plane perspective. I'm going to pick the X, Y, oh, sorry, the X, Z plane. And I'm going to create that date and plane. And it creates it on that XZ plane. But now I want it to be attached to this point here. So I'm going to go to where it says XZ plane, where it says plane. I'm going to click that so it says selecting. And I'm going to pick that vertex. And what that's going to do is it's going to move that plane. So if I turn off this origin now, take all the mess out of here, you can see I have a plane right on the end of my sketch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and create a new sketch. And once again, I'm going to bring in those vertices that I need. So I'm going to just zoom in over there and select my uh, create external geometry. I'm going to pick that vertex like that. And then I'm going to zoom in on this side and I'm going to pick that vertex. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to draw another radius and I'm going to 
I'm going to just bring this around so that we can see what we're doing. I'm going to draw a radius that goes from there to there. I'm going to do it with the endpoints and rim point for the arc. Pick those two points. And we'll say somewhere around here. It doesn't, again, this is all surfacey, so I'm not, I'm not constraining anything. But you can if you want to, but I'm not going to. So there's my shape that I'm going to use to create that part. And right now I have two lines here, two lines here in that sketch. And I have one line there, and I have one line there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Curves Workbench. And I'm just going to join two lines. So there's a command here that says Join Curves. So I'm going to take this curve and this curve and I'm just going to join them with this command here. Then I'm going to take this curve, hold in control, and I'm going to take this curve, and I'm going to join them. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I have these two curves, so I can turn off that first sketch. We're going to hide that, so that leaves those two curves there. Now I'm going to create a face across it, so I'm going to go into my part workbench, and I'm going to select this line, and I'm going to hold Control, and I'm going to select this line, and then I'm going to use this um, Create a Ruled Surface. So that creates a surface between those two lines there. That looks fantastic. So now I have those. I'm going to go into my sketches and turn off all my sketches. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this, just Shift and Select. I'm going to go back into my Curves workbench, and I'm going to say Sweep to Rails. And I'm just going to click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me this point cloud that shows me where my shape is. I'm going to select that Sweep to Rails. And I'm going to go over here, and there's um, an Approximate, which approximate points to NURBS curve on a surface. I'm going to click that. And there we have our surface. And of course, it's a very thin surface right now. It doesn't have any thickness. So we're going to go back to our part workbench. We're going to select our approximation curve. We're going to select thickness, the 3D thickness. And then we can fill in our offset. And then I can give it some thickness, whatever makes sense. See how that looks on the front. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to select that, put that back in the middle. And there you have a pretty complex surface created very quickly, just using a few lines um, to make that work. You can imagine that could be like the neck of a piece of armor as a helmet or something like that. It's very cool. So the Curves workbench is complicated, a little bit more complicated than normal stuff, but it does produce some pretty nice results. It produces some pretty good shapes that you otherwise couldn't produce. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'm hoping that's made it fairly concise, fairly easy to follow. If you have any questions, leave them below. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed. It's free. You can subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to buy me a coffee, you can go to uh, coffee.com. Or if you want to uh, join my Patreon, you get early access to these videos. Or if you want to join the channel, you're more than welcome to do that too. So again, I appreciate it. Happy holidays. Take care.